Recently, a meeting planner had asked me if I still felt comfortable doing comedy at corporate events, you know, with all the new sensitivities and people easily getting offended. And, and I told her, and she was a good friend of mine, I said, absolutely. You know, first of all, all my material has always been corporate friendly. But these days, to be extra safe, I only use company approved language and business jargon. Now, what exactly does that look like? Well, let me unpack this for you. Let me pull back the curtain, peel back the onion, and give you a 30,000 foot view of the new, new normal. Now, I'm not asking you to drink the Kool-Aid here. It is what it is. But the line of what's appropriate and what's not, it's constantly moving. It's a, it's a moving target, and there's a lot of moving parts. So in order to move the needle and move forward and move on, we need to stop worrying about the goalpost being moved in the first place. Can we, uh, can we be honest for a moment? Can we... Um, can we have a, a, a frank discussion, like grown-ups? Let's, uh, let's open up our kimonos. Mm. Actually, I'm um, not even sure I can use that expression anymore. Probably not, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly pivot and apologize in advance. I am so sorry, uh, mea culpa, my bad, blah, blah, blah. And I, and I say that with all sincerity. Look, I, I'm gonna level with you right now so that we're on the same page because I really need your buy-in on this one. Everyone is looking to level up these days and take their team to the next level in some up-level way so that everyone is playing on a level playing field. I get that, that's a it's a win-win for everyone. It's a total game changer. And that is so in my wheelhouse. Personally, I'm constantly trying to raise the bar for myself, you know, uh, take it up a notch, give 110%, uh, lean into my strengths. So when my clients drill down on my content, they see that my comedy will resonate with their entire group and, and dovetail into their objectives. Wait, um, I said drill down. Can you, can you still say that? Just, just keep it rolling. I'm just uh, thinking here. Uh, look, just to be safe, uh, I'm, going to, uh, I'm going to apologize once again. This time I'm, I'm even more sorry. Uh, I, I don't know what came over me. I, I just wasn't thinking, yada, yada, yada. I'm a terrible person. I get it. Okay, how about we, we put a pin in that? Uh, I'll circle back to that in a moment, and then we can take an even deeper dive, but let's, uh, let's just uh, table that for now. Look, I, I don't want to get too granular here, but if my clients don't view me as a valued partner, as a valuer, as a team player, if they don't see me as someone who has skin in the game, skin in the game, why did I say that? Skin, no one wants to talk about skin. Skin is bad. Um, <clears throat> I don't, I don't know anymore. Uh, uh, never mind. Let's just scratch that. Uh, what, what I, what I, what I meant to say is, at the end of the day, it's all about the optics. If I don't create some type of synergy with my clients, uh, how are they going to trust me to deliver compelling, cutting-edge, relevant material that's also genuinely funny? Uh, here. I'll tell you what, uh, for those of you who want to socialize this uh, some more, let's let's take this offline. We'll touch base, uh, end of week, uh, give you some time to get your ducks in a row, get on board, and when you have enough bandwidth, call me. Oh, this, this, is, this is creepy, right? This has been, no, this is not good. Um, please don't cancel.